Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the stunning Audi A5 S-Line Sportback, finished in signature Daytona Grey Palescent. Now the Daytona Grey in this light you can see gives the car such an awesome aesthetic appearance. Really, really popping. You can see all the fleck and all the metallic shimmer and it goes perfectly with some of the chrome contrast styling. But my job isn't here to tell you just about that. It's to tell you about everything else and why you should consider this as your next car. So you can see you've got your headlights down here with your LED daytime runners. Then you've got front parking sensors and of course you've got their take on the honeycomb grill. Moving across you can see you've got the chrome grille surround with the titanium grey inserts and you move around on to the first wheel. Now you can see you've got the S-Line 5 twin spoke alloys finished in the silver just there and you've also got the S-Line badging just on the wing with a nice chrome finish as well. You've got the extended side skirts at the bottom as part of the S-Line sports pack and you can see you've got nice sweeping lines all the way across the car. Daytona grey door mirrors with the black plastic on the bottom half and of course you've got the built-in indicator and you've got the nice little gloss black A pillar just there. You've of course got the crown window surrounds, gloss black B pillar and tinted privacy glass to give it that executive but pretty stealthy appearance. Then we move around to the back which of course the sport back is the sloping back and you can see you've got your A5 and TFSI crown badging with the Audi badge, rear parking sensors, ferret grey diffuser and dual exit exhaust as well. Let's open it up you can just grab the keys out my pocket and you hold the button down you can see the boot is a remote release opens up and you're greeted by a massive boot space just there really nice really simple and it's really really able to fit in everything that you need push chairs buggies golf clubs luggage any sort of shopping anything like that you're good to go if you click the button here that will shut it down and you can see the curves and the color i'm just going to zoom in quick here where you can see that gorgeous metallic flake within the palescent paintwork just looks incredible in this light. And all the way around, you can see that the Audi is in fine order, a real, real statement car, and one that has really set the Audi brand apart from anything else in the executive saloon section. The A5 Sportback is a car that isn't as mundane as an A4, isn't as small as an A3, isn't as boring as a 3 Series, but what it does, it gives you that perfect balance between executiveness and all out sports but don't think it's one trick pony let me take you inside and show you what it has to offer in terms of features as well now in terms of visuals aesthetics or eye-catching ability the interior on the a5 is just as naughty as the exterior a real real nice sophisticated individual bespoke place to be and we'll start here you have of course got the sculpted sports seating half leather with the alcantara suede in the middle and of course they are electrical and heated seats as well and you've also got the nice little addition here with the leg extender for those long journeys moving down you can see you've got your s-line badging just on the door inlay and you've got your brushed aluminium and alcantara suede along with electric heated adjustable mirrors electric windows child lock and of course remote boot release as well now moving into the back what we'll do we'll just open that up for you and you can take a look in the rear seats as well and you can see you've got dual seating in there and it looks fantastic. The same seats, real nice Isofix, and you've actually got quite a lot of leg room for a sport back in the rear as well. So getting in, no doubt the first thing you want to know is, does this Audi have virtual cockpit? Well rather than I'll just show you. The answer is yes. It does, there you go, without any delay as well, even better. But you can see the car starts up, no problem, no delay, no lag, no warning light, and it's a real nice spec example. So you've got the nice big digital cockpit in there, the big display, you've got your map here, and on there you can see, you can also change your views by clicking this button, you can minimize the size of it, or you can do that. For me, that is the only way possible. Now, 
what you want on the terms of the instrument cluster menu you control it with this button here you can see you can have date and time you've got your consumption figures your trip computer and all different options on there including driver assist you've got your bluetooth which is of course is your telephone or media and you've got your mobile telephone there but we'll get back to virtual cockpit steering wheel is of course napa leather finished with a half perforated it's not flat bottom but it is a smaller and it's a nice concave wheel as well so it gives you a nice bespoke finish you've also got your high beam here along with your indicators which believe it or not on this audi they do work which is quite rare to see and down here just alongside your adjustable steering wheel you do have your cruise control and speed limiter up above you've got your paddle shift options here for ultimate driving and the best best way to drive in my opinion plus goes up the gears minus goes down instrument cluster display in here you've got your different button of which you can change your different drive select modes you've also got your navigation voice control volume and mobile telephone control as well and on this side you've got your auto wipers and then there you can see you've got your auto headlights and fog light settings as well moving around onto there you have of course got the leatherette on the effect just on the dash and underneath that you've got this gorgeous sweeping brushed aluminium which goes beautifully into the passenger door card and finishes off the aesthetics really really nice now up top you have of course got your media control system which is controlled by this little gizmo just here now we'll go from the top and go through some of the options so if you click on car you're instantly brought up <coughs> excuse me with audi drive select you've got five different modes so you've got efficiency comfort auto dynamic and individual you'll see individual you have the option to turn across and you can change it to really configure it to your own settings for me that would be where i am you've also got the sound you've got your radio which on your radio you can see you've got dab this is about the here and now and i think so that's far too loud fm am as well but we all know you only need dab you've also got your media which of course you can change your sources and on there you can see you've got your discs dvd you've got a memory card you've also got on there you've got usb auxiliary and bluetooth and of course wi-fi as well and audi connect bluetooth telephone navigation and you can get your map on using that button and again you can also have audi connect but you need to check with your dealer that that's updated audi smartphone interface meaning apple carplay and android auto and you can go on the settings here and change some different options just within the settings itself real great customizable option that really gives you full control to set it up to your own accord now the nice thing about this is you've got the sweeping air vents all the way across which give it a nice different feel to it a lot of them are just cut off but that really does add to the overall aesthetic hazard lights you've got heated seats for both the driver and the passenger you've got your air conditioning now it does come up in a real nice funky digital display meaning if you want to turn the temperature up and down you've got your zone <coughs> meaning you have of course here I've got high temperature for the driver low temperature for the passenger now the three zone means you've also got the heating in the back just down there of which you can customize the settings here so you can sync all the temperatures you can have open from the vents just here and you can also set the rear temperature as well to turn your temperature up and down you use this button here you've got heated front screen heated rear screen recirculation you can turn it off and we are going to turn the heated seat off now because it's a bit warm in here moving down you've got your audi drive select on the old school touch button you've got auto start stop on and off traction control audible parking sensors and you can turn your media screen off using that button just there underneath you've got a 12 volt charger that isn't oh, Ronaldinho and uh, Rivaldo doing anything for my OCD so that needs to be straight and you can see you've also got USB as well push button start you've got your two keys just chilling in there and you've got your dual cup holder and you've got your iDrive controller just there and then moving down from there what you have also got is of course the big tiptronic s-tronic gearbox real nice perforated leather big square super easy to use and super comfortable for just resting your hand on as well in terms of ease to use you can see foot on the brake you've got a button here push that up you'll know you're going to reverse because you get your front and rear parking distance control as well put it into neutral you can bring it down and to push it into drive you simply click the button down and you can see in your instrument cluster just here you've got d1 and individual meaning your gear and of course the drive select mode you're in if you press this down again you can see you've got s and that means you can put it in s meaning sports gears now an option that many people don't know you can do on this is of course move it to the left and that puts you in m which means manual now you can either flip into the flappy paddles at any time or you can use this really simply you're driving you hit 
four or five thousand revs to change your gear up and again and again you come into a light fourth third second first but for us we'll keep it simple and we'll put it in park using that button just there you've got your electric parking brake and you've got your key holder just there volume control as well now what you also have is of course your sliding armrest here which of course under there you have the wireless charging auxiliary and of course you have your second usb and a bit of storage as well but in terms of the aesthetics and information not really too much more i can talk about however what i haven't yet told you is that this car along with every other one on our pitch before this video is made is treated to the 128 point emerald check that just means that every car here is really meticulously checked over by our rac approved facility both cosmetically and mechanically we do an oil and filter change on anything that comes in stock to save any confusion or cross contamination on products that have been used in terms of finance and part exchange we welcome any quotes and we're able to offer some of the best prices around so if you've got any queries any questions get in touch but most more than anything we can't wait to see you soon thank you very much for watching the video we'll catch you at hq in the not so distant future one of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be a hundred percent confident in the company that you choose we have over a thousand five-star reviews on google facebook and auto trader hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years, including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year, and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergo the 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches this new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90 day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you were local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC approved garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP and lease options available depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone. We're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it, here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience.
And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> straight. straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10. That sounds good. Give it a 10. Don't argue with 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10, oh, right? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and Perfect. I'll be back again. <laughs>